Okay, so today we're gonna be going over how to do the Ice Palace bomb jump. Uh, and this is really helpful because later on in the dungeon, if these blocks are up, uh, then the other blocks headed to the boss room will be down. So it's really beneficial to be able to skip these blocks uh, to get to the boss a little bit quicker. It skips the requirement for having the big key as well. The only reason you would have the big key is if you have the, or that you would have to have the big key is if you have to go the long way around. So the general premise of the Ice Palace bomb jump is that we're gonna charge our sword to the right here like we're doing. We're gonna push up until we're up against this wall uh, at the top. And then we're gonna kinda just wiggle our way over to the edge of this wall, of this side over here. Uh, we don't wanna go too far left because we'll fall in the gap, but generally you wanna be about here where it seems like your feet, the back of your feet there, uh, are resting against the edge of the wall there, uh, not by the spiky part. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, from here we're gonna place down the bomb and we're gonna use one of two position lineups to be able to line up our character perfectly to go for the bomb jump. Uh, and so there's two lineups that you can go for here. I'll demonstrate both of them before we get started. Uh, the first, which I've typically used um, and is helpful if you have a vanilla Link sprite. Um, if you're playing the normal game, uh, or if you're playing rando and you're using a close to normal Link sprite, um, then I like to use the hat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move up here in the doorway so you can see the outline of the hat. Uh, so if you look at the hat, there is this black outline going around it. So what we want to aim to do is we want to take this uh, two pixel black bar that's in the doorway and we want to line up the bottom uh, row of black pixels with the top black bar in our hat there. So not like that, that's the top row, but like that. So you can see that like the black bar where our hat would normally be is is overlapping with the bottom bar of this doorway. That's the correct position for lighting up with the hat. Um, the other lineup is using the sword. And this one is helpful uh, if you have either a non-traditional Link Sprite or if you just don't find the, the hat lineup to be consistent for you. Uh, the sword is fine too. Um, every time you set down the bomb, you're going to set it down from a position of being as far up against the wall as you can be. Uh, and then from there, let's pretend that this, uh, you see where the sparkles are going over that black line. Let's pretend that that black line is the bottom part of the bomb's shadow. So what we wanna do with the sword lineup is we wanna be able to line up so that there's a single pixel between the sword and the black line. And so you can see here uh, it's fairly precise to get. It's even harder to get from the top of the room to demonstrate this. Um, but you'll have a little bit more leeway with the actual bomb. But this is what you're looking for. You want just a single pixel in between, uh, basically the same amount of space as is around that, that darker orange highlight in my temperance sword. So, uh, so we'll demonstrate both. Um, so let's back up to this wall. Uh, I'm going to use the hat line up here because it's the one I like going for. There we go. Okay, so that's the first lineup. Um, and they'll probably look exactly the same. I'm just kind of demonstrating it from the position of me doing it right now. Um, so let's charge our sword facing right, push up against the top wall. We're going to back up to this left side so that our feet are at the edge. Looks good to me. All right, bomb, line up our sword one pixel below. No, this one's a little, I'm not as used to this one, so that's okay. We'll give it a few tries. <laughs> Drop, there we go, one pixel. Cool. And there you go. That's how you do the Ice Palace bomb jump. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more speedrunning and tutorial content. I'll see you next time. Bye.